Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Everybody, it's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Let's start off with some quick sports. Last night, congratulations to the Celtics. Drop a bomb for them. They beat the, uh, the Dallas Mavericks 106 88, and Jalen Brown was the MVP of the finals. Did you watch the game, Charlemagne? I did watch the game. Me too. Uh, Good drop, game. Yeah, the Celtics were great. I Celtics mean, looked amazing. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we knew that, though. We knew the Celtics in, in five, at least against the Mavs. And, um,. Very anticlimactic, though. What you mean? It was nothing to it. It was just like, damn, it's the NBA Finals. Like, that was an easy game for them. I mean, that was an easy series. Yeah. It was an easy playoff run for the Celtics. They only lost three games in the whole playoffs. But that's why people feel like sometimes the NBA throws games. Because how they just lose by, what, 40 the night before? Two, two nights before? I don't know about them throwing games. Man, they lost by 40. There's no way that squad can lose by 40. I mean, it happens sometimes. People have bad games. You miss yeah. shots. All of them? Yeah, when you off, you off. White, Jalen Brown. When you off Tatum. as a team, you off as a team. When you on as a team, you on as a team. Jesus. And you got to think, the Mavs, think about the, the situation. The Mavs were playing with their back against the wall. They were at home in Dallas. What, 40? They were energized. It happens. I mean, it happens. How can that same team lose by 30? How can that same team lose by 20 plus? That just blew you out by 40. It yeah, happens. But Boston's just an amazing team. But anyway, congratulations to Boston. Salute to the Celtics, but the WNBA got way better storylines. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> y'all kiss, I don't care what y'all say, NBA. Y'all was kind of trash this year. They this thought a tad bit. They thought it was going to be Kyrie and Kyrie yeah, going to Boston. Storyline-wise, <laughs> NBA was kind of trash compared to what women's college basketball doing this year. I'm not going to lie. The storylines are much better in the WNBA right now. That's just a fact. Well, good morning, Morgan. Good morning, y'all. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it because y'all don't cut into my time. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the White House is disputing the characterization of a video that critics say um, or show President Biden having to be led off stage. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre is questioning the authenticity of these types of videos. Let's hear from the Press Secretary. We're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos, uh, and it is, again, done in bad faith. President Obama, President uh, Biden have a relationship. They are friends. They're like family to each other. And I think that's what you saw. You saw the president put his hand behind the, on the back of, of uh, President uh, uh, Biden, and, uh, and they walked off the stage. What's wrong with helping an 81-year-old man off the stage if, if, if that man needs help? Even if he doesn't Nothing need help, what's wrong with it? I don't think that's the point. I think it's the fact that there are deep fake videos going out so that, you know, during an election year, we want to deal. We don't want to deal with misinformation. You don't want to be putting things out there. You you yourself talk about messaging, messaging, messaging. We don't want the wrong messages out there. Right. So we want to make sure that whatever we're consuming, um, you know, as civilians, as as Americans or whatever the case is, is authentic. And I think that's just what it boils down to. I agree. So, I of guess, course, I, you know, I, I got to see one of the deep fake videos. I haven't seen one yet. Well, I guess the reason uh, it's course, a problem you know. is because it shows a sign of, you know, when people feel that way, sometimes people, it's a sign of weakness. He's 81. But people feel like right. that. And they've been saying that he's old. He doesn't know what's going on. He's Absolutely. not coherent. He's, you know, Absolutely. has dementia. So the fact that he has to get help to walk off the steps, that's, people are going to think that's a problem. So what? He's 81. That's who, that's who we elected. We knew that. Mm. 81, 81 mm. year man's going to need mm. help getting off the stage sometimes. A lot of people feel like they didn't elect him. Mm. Well, speaking of a lot of people and other news coming up out of our home state, Jess, of Maryland, over 175,000 marijuana convictions in Maryland have been pardoned. Maryland Democratic Governor Wes Moore has signed an executive order <clears throat> issuing the pardons on Monday. Let's hear more from Governor Moore. When it comes to cannabis, rolling out one of the best and most equitable legal markets in the country is incredibly important. But that rollout must go hand in hand with pardoning past conduct and Maryland is going to lead by example. We are taking actions that are intentional, that are sweeping and unapologetic. And this is the largest such action in our nation's history. Dropping a clues bomb for yes. Governor Westmore. Yes. I love it. And I love to be a Marylander, I'm telling you. So he went on to say that um, the pardons won't turn back the clock on decades of harm that was caused by this war on drugs. But he went on to say um, also that it will, you know, it will it will try to heal some of the economic injustices that have been um, impacting black and brown people disproportionately. Um, you know, communities of colors have been uh, communities of color have been denied housing, jobs, education and things like that because of these type of um 
charges or whatever on their criminal. It doesn't even have to be a charge. It could just be on the record. <laughs> mm. I know firsthand. Yeah. yeah like so, of course, uh, cannabis was made legal in uh, Maryland last July, and, and it continues to be legalized across a lot of states. I, I like it. It's strong. Um, very important to note that it's just people convicted of, 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 of misdemeanors, though. But I'm happy that the misdemeanors are going to be wiped away because mm-hmm. it removes barriers to housing and employment and educational opportunities. Yep. But I do want to talk to our guy, Governor Westmore, because I like Westmore. I like, I, I, I like him a lot. I want to talk to him, though, because I just want to know why, you know, can't this legislation be stronger? Like, what's keeping people from going extremely hard on it in regards to nonviolent marijuana offenders? If you're a nonviolent marijuana offender, period, in the state of Maryland or any state where weed is legal, you should be pardoned. You talking about it felony should, charges should, and all. Yeah, it shouldn't yeah. just be for misdemeanors. And if you are incarcerated for those offenses, you should be released. And it should result in having past convictions automatically expunged from your background check. So I just wonder why, you know, they don't take those big, big steps. Mm. Yeah. Well, we need the state. The, 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 he said Maryland is paving the way. Maryland is setting the tone. So I like mm-hmm. this. I like to see that. Um, hot stuff. Hot stuff he is. And speaking of hot stuff, millions are facing a massive heat wave this week that could um, shatter record temperatures. The National Weather Service says some places could experience the longest, most intense heat wave they've seen in decades. The highest risk are in the Great Lakes region, in the Northeast, Chicago, Detroit, New York City, Boston, Cleveland, and temps could uh, feel 15 to 20 degrees above normal this week. So just a few tips. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Um, stay hydrated. Uh, limit your time outside because that can also in- impact the air quality. Check your car. You know, of course, roll down your windows if you're in your car. Or use AC. Um, check on loved ones, elderly, kids, stuff stuff for that. And um, watch for illness because it's about to get real out here. It's going to be a hot summer. All right. Well, thank and, you, Morgan. Uh, that's your front page news for the 6 a.m. Thank All right. you. See y'all in a lit. Morgan. We'll see you next hour. Everybody else, get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, phone lines are wide open. Again, 800-585-1051. Get it off your chest. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Again, last night, if you're just joining us, the Boston Celtics beat the Dallas Mavericks. They win the NBA championship. Congratulations to them. They won 106-88. to Very anticlimactic uh, NBA finals. I mean, the Boston Celtics only lost three games throughout the whole playoff, so they ran through everybody. But mm-hmm. uh, like I said earlier, the WNBA got way better storylines. Mm-hmm. Way better storylines than uh, the NBA. Yeah. All right. Well, what else we got, Morgan? Good morning. Good morning. Sheesh, I hope to impress with my storylines. Sheesh, Charlemagne. Um, New York Senator Chuck <laughs> Schumer says he's going to push Congress this week to restore a ban on bump stocks. Now, Schumer argues the bump stock causes gun-related tragedies across the U.S. Let's hear more from Senator Schumer. Gun bump stocks, like the one that took so many lives of people in Las Vegas, risks public safety, risks public tragedies, will certainly cost human lives. So the bump stock allows a semi-automatic weapon to fire much quicker. As he mentioned, um, there was a bump stock used in that deadly Las Vegas um, mass shooting in 2017. Now, the Trump administration actually banned bump stocks following that mass shooting. However, the Supreme Court on Friday ruled that the federal ban on bump stocks is unlawful. Um, So, yeah, that's absolutely crazy. Um, Meanwhile, June is National Gun Violence Awareness Month, and the Black Information Network has launched our firearm safety awareness campaign, Lock It, Store It. This comes as new federal um, a new federal study shows nearly half of all U.S. households are not storing their guns properly. The study published by the CDC looked at data collected from gun, o- gun owners across eight states, and it found that up to 43% of households stored loaded guns, which is not considered safe, while half of those households stored loaded guns did not put them in locked containers. So they need to be um, not loaded and, of course, stored in a like a safe or something like that. So the CDC says firearms are the leading cause of death of children in the U.S. So you guys going to use them, you know, make sure you, you're safe. You're safe. Yeah, I agree with the, the bump stocks. There's no way that those those uh you should be able to fire that many bullets at one uh, make a make a regular rifle semi automatic. That that's very dangerous. Yeah, for, for sure. Um, so switching gears, let's go back to sports. Um, you know, make things a little more lighthearted. The NFL's popular docu series Hard Knocks this season will um 
feature an entire division for the first time. So Hard Knocks in season, the league announced all four AFC North teams will get spotlight. Cameras will follow the Baltimore Ravens. Yes. Cincinnati Bengals, Cleveland Browns, and Pittsburgh Steelers for you, Jess, I guess. Um, and during the regular <laughs> season. <laughs> so last season, the AFC North became the first division to have all of its teams finish with winning, winning records. Hard Knocks in season with the AFC North will premiere on HBO and Max in December. Look forward to that. And um, speaking of sports... I, I, just a housekeeping note, iHeart is celebrating the launch of iHeart Women's Sports starting today. You'll hear women's sports updates with everything you'll need to know from WNBA to NWSL to golf, softball, everything in between. And of course, the summer games. Um, we're launching iHeart Women's Sports podcast with great lineup, um, including athletes and journalists to um, host the shows like Good Game with Sarah Spain. Big shout out to the founding partners, Capital One, Elf Cosmetics, and Elf Skin for helping us give women's sports the attention that it deserves. Open the free iHeart app and search iHeart Women's Sports now. You would love that, right, Charlemagne? Because you was just talking about how WNBA has all the headlines this year. Yeah, I'm all in for women's basketball. I don't know about the other women's sports. I don't know nothing about the other women's sports. Women's basketball for sure. <laughs> No, about, shoot, but you, you know you can learn about it here on iHeart I'll, if, if it's exciting if they got if they got somebody I'm interested in watching women's basketball definitely got people I'm interested in watching well that's your front page news I'm Morgan Wood you can follow me on social media at Morgan Media M-O-R-G-Y-N Media and make sure you're following the Black Information Network at Black Information Network and BINnews.com thank y'all wake that ass up in the morning the breakfast club 